Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to style um, some elements by attributing them uh, classes. So, a class in CSS is declared like so. You put a dot and then you give the name of your class. So we're going to call it my class. And uh, for example, we're going to give a padding of 50 pixels everywhere. Top, right, left, bottom. So now I have declared my class. I have to attribute it to some elements that I want. So for example, for the section, you do like so. You take the class attribute and then you give the name of the class you want to apply. So we call it my class here. So the dot uh, is just for the CSS. You don't have to put it in the HTML. You just have to put the name. So now if I go back and I reload my page and I check, you can see that now my section has some padding all around. Uh, so a class uh, can be attributed to different elements. So for example, if I want to give it also to my H4, I can. It's not like the ID just for a unique element, but it can be attributed to any other element that you want. So now if I reload, you can see that as well as my section, my H4 has a padding of 50 pixels everywhere. Um, let's uh, change the color of that body, which is uh, actually really ugly. So um, let's put it, uh, I don't know, in science, a bit more joyful. So I'm going to give background color cyan, and this class, I'm going to attribute it to my body. Cyan. Now, if I reload, you can see that my body has indeed a cyan background. Now, you can also uh, give several classes to the same element. So, let's say that uh, I want a, a background color. Um, which color didn't we use? Purple. So we set the purple class, then we take it and we attribute it to uh, the section. Now my section has also a purple background color on top of also having a class with the padding at 50 pixels. So you can add different classes to the same element uh, and uh, each class can be used in any other element that you want. So that's it for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.